Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we got the 2022 Members Mark um, Inflatable House, and yes, I do have two of them. You are not blind, or this is not a trick. There's one, there's two. I'm going to be selling this one on eBay for probably 800 a 1000 I don't know yet. But I got this one, I already cut the lid to it, so we're going to take it outside and inflate it. And there it is in the box, and it comes with, here's the manual, definitely cool. It was a steak pack, it has col not colossal steaks, the giant regular old steaks, and the uh, corkscrew steaks, and very heavy for once, metal steaks for the base fan. So I'm going to cut to me putting this outside and laying it on the ground, I'm not going to take it out of the box with you guys, because it's heavy. But this is my 80 subscriber special, thank you guys so much, and um, I'll hope for more subscribers, more views, and more videos in the future, so I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so I ended up holding it outside. So here's a better look at the box. Um, and slice to the ready. This is how it opens. Very big flaps. Um, I think the fin. I think it said it weighed about thirty-seven pounds. It said it somewhere. But I highly recommend picking this up. My store only had eighteen, and when I went there, they had nine. And I have it laid out on the ground right now over there. And I already staked it down, so it won't fly away, and it inflates itself all the way up perfectly, so. It also has a YEF 200. So it's going up. Gotta give this a second, it takes a minute. Give it a second to inflate, but it inflates all the way on its own. Once you stake it down, there it goes. Okay, so it only takes a couple more seconds, and it's done. There you go. And it is now all up. There it is in its glory. Um, for having a 200, it inflates amazing. It inflates really good. So, um, let's go over the details. So, there's a ghost with a, uh... LED and it, it blinks at nighttime and I'm gonna do a nighttime and show it to you. A tombstone which has a C7 that stays steady. This is a mixed media pumpkin. And um, it's just fuzzy and everything. There's torches with blinking lights. Uh, it's a happy Halloween sign. Now, on the other side there's nothing here which is lame. I, I thought they would have put something there. It would have been better. And in the back, there's nothing, but there is one stake. So there's four stakes and tethers, one for each side of the house. And then on this side, where the tower is, there is shutters. There is a mixed media ghost. And there is two skeletons with LED eyes. And there's a LED ghost on the top of the house that um, blinks and flashes at night. So we're going to go inside of it. And there's nothing really in here until the lights go out at nighttime. But um, there's a uh, projector, and it projects ghosts all over the walls and stuff. But you can see it on my hand a little bit. The camera doesn't pick it up too well. <clears throat> but also, there's shingles on the roofs on those two parts, not on the back and the other side. But um, for it being a haunted house and it coming back, I think this is amazing. And Jimmy did the right thing bringing the haunted house back, so good for them. I think that was awesome of them. So there it all is in its glory. Um, I think it is 10 feet tall, 
and then the tower is 12 feet. So I'm gonna come back and I'll hit the lights. Okay guys, so here it is at night time. You see, I'm all the way by the street and um, I'm starting to walk up the grass now and it is very bright, as you can tell. This thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm using a new camera now, so the quality is definitely a lot better. Um, if you are prone to having seizures, please don't watch this video. Um, so, there's the top of it. Sadly, from the street, you can't tell that those are skeletons. There's a ghost. You can't really see the spider well at nighttime either. But there's the pumpkin with the mixed media. And like I said, the fan is really loud. There's the ghost. He blinks. The torches blink. The only thing that stays solid is the Happy Halloween sign, the tombstone, and the pumpkin. So, um, and inside where the projector is, it projects ghosts all over the walls. It looks a lot better in person, so hopefully the camera's picking it up. Um, it looks absolutely great. The haunted house still smells brand new, too. It still smells of that new fabric. Um, it looks absolutely great inside here. It's more like a tunnel. I wouldn't call it a haunted house. But there's not really too much to show at night time. The two blinking C7s in the tower. The ghost on the other side. And here is one of the wires, I guess you can call them. Tethers. There's the ghost all at the top. And it's bending down because there's some water up there I gotta push off. And um, the only, and it just rained too, and I want to have this out here. That's the whole reason why I put it out here to see what would happen when it rains. And the roof falls in when it rains because water just puddles up there. So if you get this, I recommend hopefully having a piece of plastic lying around here. I'll show you what I use, just like a stake or whatever, so you can push up on the roof and all the water can fall down. Because although there is mesh, um, it is only in the middle of the haunted house of the roof so I have this staff here this is a piece of a um, Grim Reaper scythe from Walmart last year I still have the other part but I've been using it to push up from under I've been going inside and going under and just pushing up and I gotta go do that right now to uh, push all the water and it slides down very nice on the sides well I gotta say um, let's give this a rating um, quality, 10 out of 10, great, amazing. Um, let's see, design-wise, um, I will deduct a couple of points, because like I said, it's not detailed all the way around, at least if they could have detailed the other side. I could see not detailing the back, there's nothing that could really be put on the back. But I wish they would have detailed the shingles, and the things, the shutters, on the other window on the other side, so I'm sad they didn't do that. Also, you can see the wire going through the house, but that that's nothing. You can't do anything about that. But um, yeah, I wish they would have done that. So I have to rate it about a eight and a half for design choice. I love the design. Just if they would have done the other side, would have been great. Um, price it's two hundred and forty dollars. Um, is it steep? Yes, but is it definitely worth it? A hundred percent. 240 is right around the ballpark of good price for this. Maybe 230. Some people told me 200 would have been the right price, and I just don't see that because there's so much stuff into this. It's probably pretty expensive to make and then to resell it. So 240, I think, is a good price. So I give it a nine out of ten for that. Maybe if it was just like 10 or 20 dollars cheaper, it would have been perfect. But um, I think that's all I gotta say about this house. It just says everything for itself. Also, yeah, there's micro lights around the arch and they blink. I forgot to say that in the morning time. I wish the skull eyes would have moved back and forth like a um, other inflatable where there's a skeleton next to a house, like a small little haunted house, I guess. I'll put a picture of that up on the screen right now. You just saw that picture, that's what it is, that's what I was talking about. The lights on the eyes move back and forth. I would have liked it on this, but you can't even tell what the hell they are at night time. And there's no lighting around, like in the haunted house, because there's a, um, a projector, so it's not really... They can't put lights in, otherwise it'll mess with the projector. 
And all I gotta say is this is perfect if you got a wide open space like right here for me. That's why I bought it because I got this wide open corner space. Christmas I had something here. Halloween I didn't. It was just like an eyesore. But now something is, this is going to be its new home. Right in this open space. When Halloween comes around I'm putting it right back here. No buts about it. Can't really go anywhere else anyway. I've been planning. And on YouTube I'll release a um, trailer soon. Of like just ideas and on in my Instagram, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I will be dropping teasers starting next week on stuff that I'm working on. Now you guys have no idea. Uh, it's not set in stone. If I'm only one thing is set in stone that I'm doing so far that I handmade myself. And um, other things. There's two other things I'm working on that I'm not done with yet. One of them I don't think I'm making. I think I'm just going to cancel the idea. But the big thing, I can't cancel it. I have to finish it. For the two things I have, you'll see exactly uh, when I do it. And there's a little pumpkin. So, um, I'm going to head out. And the haunted house has nothing to say about itself. If you're thinking about picking it up, go pick it up immediately. Go call your Sam's Club. That's what I did. They had 18 in stock at mine. Boxes are huge. It weighs about 20 pounds. So that's a lot of fabric and inflatable. All right there, so you really get bang for your buck. Love this thing. <laughs> Sorry that I keep rambling on about it, but um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm 100% sure. I know exactly what I'm going to review next. So um, bye, guys.